All right, hey YouTube. Uh, it's time to watch the Vidoc. Finally, uh, yesterday Bungie announced that they were releasing a Vidoc around like 10 a.m. EST. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're gonna watch it. We're gonna do a blind react, uh, and then we're gonna do a breakdown and analysis. Words are hard. <laughs> analysis of the uh, the entire thing to see like specific points, see if we missed anything during the first run through. And I hope you guys enjoy. And here we go. Beyond Light kicks off the next trilogy of stories that we're trying to tell with Destiny. Ooh, fancy. The player's gonna go on a journey to discover the true nature of light and dark. Okay. It's the beginning of players learning more about the darkness. Yes, I am interested. And in fact, going so far as to wield it. It's about leaving cool. comfort and safety behind, walking a different road than one that you Ooh. may have believed you were destined for. What makes something bad? Oh, what dude, makes that darkness looks sick. Dark. Okay, Who's Shadow right? Keep. Who was it? How are those Old learnings going to change the, okay. the characters that you have gotten to know over the last six years? Harris. Drifter. Drifter also has ice powers. Interesting. Makes sense, but interesting. What the hell is that thing? Beyond Light's really the beginning of a new adventure. What Guardians is that, dude? For the longest dude? time have been bathed in the light, sort of this altruistic force fighting back evil. And now we're starting to move into that gray area between the light and dark. If the darkness reaches out, we must reach back. I will not sanction this. In Season of Arrivals, the vanguard is divided. You have some characters telling you, you know, we should fight these ships, and we have other characters who are saying, no, 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 we should find out what they want. We should get to know them and understand more. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it definitely comes to a head. This next year in Destiny is really just about how all the different characters and factions are reacting to these disappeared destinations and what that means as the, the pyramids fuck? have arrived in our system. Not for the first time, but for the second time. <laughs> We're gonna see the return of a character who's been absent for a pretty long time in The Stranger, and boy, does she have a lot to say. And she has a lot. It's been a few years, time. yeah. Oh, funny. But I know <laughs> more. You'll know more. She has shown up to encourage us to take on the darkness, and the only way to truly stop it is to work with it. And here what comes our guardian, thing? right on time. I want to know what that fish thing looking, whatever. Why did the darkness invite us here? Ooh, our character talks. Okay, okay, okay. The Europa is literally like Exciting. a time capsule. Europa is huge. Killer destination. Freezing cold. Desolate. Some of the most beautiful spaces I've ever seen in a video game. Does look pretty. I'll give him that. There was a lot built on Europa during the Golden Age, and a lot of that was built was underground. Guns. Oh my god. Clovis Bray had some research facilities there, really pushing the limits of technology and innovation there. Maybe mm. stepping into some things that we shouldn't have. Yeah. Under the eyes. I see it. Secrets. I'm so excited for what players are going to find. Ooh, hello. That looks like a raid intro if I've ever seen one. The storm on Europa was actually something we've wanted to do for a long time. We wanted it to feel harsh. The weather system is so awesome. Like, you're walking through an open space and all of a sudden things start happening. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I remember they talked about that in the across, previous... Like Fallen or Vex for the first time. Thing. You can barely make out the glow in their eyes. Oh, God. The sound of the wind, <laughs> the ice will change based on what the weather is looking like. You'll actually feel every piece of the environment changing around you to match the storm. Europa itself is a pretty foreboding place. Aramis is there in advance of us, and she set up a forward base. She has lieutenants mm. who have gotten their hands on stasis, gotten their hands on the darkness, and they're learning to wield it. One by one, we will rise again. 
And so I think her motivations are really interesting too. Okay. Today, we begin breaking free from our chains. Aramis really challenges a lot of the ways that we think about Bruh. light and darkness. She's gonna make you think about your relationship with the traveler. She's a compelling leader and she has a vision. And especially after the collapse of their society, people, I think, the Fallen wanted someone to follow. I really hope they portray that. Is the light going to be enough? Because I feel like they say that a lot. I think we've seen that we need some new tools to fight our enemies with. Maybe it's time to fight fire with fire or ice Look with ice. Look at that thing. <laughs> wow. Old Vex Harpy dude. Stasis is, uh, you know, not just a set of new supers, but it's a new damage type. We've got Ooh. Solar Void, Arc, and now we've got Stasis. The idea for Stasis all really came back from the gameplay idea of hey, freezing Steve someone. Samuel. That Love was him. kind of the theme that everyone's kind of rallied behind. You know, Dima's an amazing concept artist, had some images that really kind of put us on Ooh. the right path. What really was landing with that was the more crystalline notion. So when we say cosmic ice, that's kind of where the cosmic comes in. Space ice, hell yeah. Once he freezes solid, I'm able to hit him again and shatter him into pieces. Ooh, the pieces that looks break cool. apart and explode in those sharp shards that can damage you. So all of that kind of came together when we landed on that theme. Okay. Stasis is going to not only change Whoa. the way that you can attack nice. or approach combat, there's also some really great ways that you can upgrade it. Then you start getting into like the more interesting parts, things that we're calling aspects and fragments, which are additional ways to modify your subclass. Aspects are uh, a little bit more potent. Ooh, okay. And then the fragments are the things that are class agnostic, but depending on what your class is and depending on what your aspects are and how you want to play, you're probably going to be starting to select different ones in there. Okay. This is just the beginning for Stasis. We're going to continue to expand on it. We're just excited for players to get their hands on this. Sounds all pretty creating good. creating a new palette like Stasis, we do what we call a source jam. Everyone on mm. the team blocks out about a week where we can say, okay, you're going to go out into the world, microphone, recorder, record anything that reminds you of cosmic ice. <laughs> Oh my god. That gives us the palette that we can build the eventual sounds out of. I found personally that the best way to do it was at night. But doing scream screeches and blood curdling <laughs> yells is a little scary at night. Yeah. Then I had a really rumbly stomach and that also was recorded. Huh. There was also a breast pump. <laughs> That's amazing. You have to make use of what you got. I love it. In Beyond Light, we have new exotic weapons for you. Oh, look at that sword. No Time to Explain is coming back. Instead yes. of just being the gun that refills your magazine when you land precision hits, you actually get a little time portal and it starts spitting out rounds yeah, that's cool. alongside you. I believe that's the catalyst. You can actually have that though. on top of the arc soul so you can be your own little mini firing spot and build for it. Another one we have is the <laughs> Lament. Mode. It uses up your sword's energy to give yourself a new combo and that ends up in a big hmm. spinning slash. Probably Ooh. the largest selling point for a lot of people is that it slices right Looks like there's like a champions. crit melting point thing, too. Maybe the largest draw for most people is actually going to be the fact that it is a chainsaw sword. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for Beyond Light, we really wanted to create exotic armor pieces that formed a key Ooh. part of your build around That's which creepy. all the other parts of your build could revolve. For example, the Titan gets the Icefall Mantle, which is a set of exotic arms that looks like it is crafted from Golden Age tech. Hmm. When you activate it, you sort of slam your arms down, create a burst of stasis energy, and then you cover like yourself in an overshield. Kind of sounds like the Skolas so music a little bit. Is necrotic grip. 
that it? I don't if know, whatever. If you are facing a wave of claws uh, yes. running at you, you can nail them with your melee Give me. attack, and it starts to burst and sort of cascade through the whole group. Nice omni go strike there. <laughs> There's a lot there for newcomers coming in too. If you've got a friend who hasn't tried it out, it's a really great time to jump in. Ooh, um, yes. You like that entry experience for free players. I want to see more of that. Last year when New Light launched, we brought back a small portion of the Cosmodrome. This year we're bringing back a much larger portion Ooh. of the destination. It's weird seeing it a map. some of the experiences that started with original Destiny 1, but puts them and stitches them together in a different way and adds new things and tells a, a different story. What you're going to meet in this new opening experience is a character with not one, but two names from Fast and the Furious, Shah Han. Guess it's they not the light. I didn't think we had other guardians on patrol here. <laughs> People what thought I it was Aldrin. about the Cosmodrome is it feels like Destiny distilled. I'm digging it, yeah. Season of the Hunt picks up where Arrivals left off. Other forces are taking advantage of the darkness to make their move forward, including Zebul Wrath, a sister mm. of Oryx, and she's taking this opportunity to build up an army. And we're working with Osiris to try to stop her. Cool. Osiris goes out, stumbles across these hive growths that are driving combatants crazy. Glad to see Cyrus him again. Trouble, and of course you're not dying. Help. Please. Yes, he's back. That's what I'm talking about. We warned you it was going to be dangerous down here. Oh, they're working awesome. together. Ah, uh, about time, man. Hey, they're showing that cutscene again. We catch up to what we saw at the end of Forsaken. Dude, where we saw so Aldrin being ago. brought back to life by a ghost. Nice. Aldrin, who now refers to himself as Crow, he doesn't know ah. what he did. The slate's been wiped clean when he was resurrected <laughs> as a guardian. We know what he's done, and we know what he could be capable of doing, so now we're going to spend some time watching him go back and forth. and. That's going to question how we look at him, how we look at ourselves, how we look at the light, how we look at darkness. Mm. In Season of the Hunt, we're partnering with the Crow and Osiris to take down the High Celebrant. It's creating these cryptoliths around the system, and those cryptoliths are attracting Elixian Cabal and corrupting them. Mm. So Zebu okay. Wrath is essentially corrupting herself and army, and it's our job to put a stop to it. I'm really That's the excited seasonal to see activity type Zibu stuff. Wrath fleshed out more and to find out more about her relationship with Sabathun and what that means for year four of Destiny. Sabathun has oh, been all right. placing dominoes. It's from last season. At the end of year four, she's going to knock down the dominoes. We're going to see what she's doing really up to. And so this year, she's putting the last pieces in place. Ah, OK. Destiny is just a really incredible world. And there are so many stories for us to tell. We have a lot to look forward to Ooh, beyond yeah, light, then the Witch Queen, and then Lightfall, and all the seasonal content between. We feel like we've got a really oh, great Cosmodrome way to bring good. people together. Working through COVID <laughs> and working through some of the other turmoil in the world right now has been really challenging. I have to admit, I've been pleasantly surprised with how well we've been able to get things done. We're committed to your characters and your community of players. We want to meet you where you are. That do look like Master Chief a little bit at Titan. I think the thing that excites me the most about That's Destiny's cool. future is how much it's rooted in where we come from. Seeing villains revealed and finding out secrets that we've been hinting at for years. When I look at the team that we're building and continuing to grow and hire, the new leaders that are coming up in Destiny. <laughs> Somebody had Baby Yoda in their background. Excited. That's cute. At least I think that's what it was. Destiny's best days are ahead of us. I think so, too, yeah. It's looking good. I know they said that a lot, but, you know. Let's 
Yuck. All right. Let's see if there's anything else here. No, that's it. Yeah. Nothing else. All right, that's it. All right, cool. So, uh, initial thoughts. Uh, I'm excited as always. Bungie knows how to make a incredible Vidoc. I was not expecting Aldrin, which is nice because you know what? We haven't seen him in so long. Glad he's coming back. Uh, it seems like we're not initially going to kill him, so that's cool. I don't know if that'll be a choice. I would assume not because that'd be kind of breaking some stuff. Um, yeah, let's just go through a little bit, kind of see what's... Uh... Let's lower the volume a little bit, though. Fion light kicks off. All right, so... We had the statue here, which I don't think that's the one that was in the pyramid ship at uh in Shadow Keep. Looks too open, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that's not the beginning of them. players learning more about the darkness. Uh well, it looks like you're just so getting that darkness. Cool abilities. It's about leaving comfort and safety behind, walking a different road than one that you may have believed you were destined for. Leaving Let's comfort and safety behind. Walk so yeah, no time to explain. It looks pretty dope. There's a couple other guns. This awesome cave system. Look at that detail. Uh, nothing, nothing else a different there. Road than one that you may have believed you were destined for. By the way, the the snow physics that they have in this in this one, if they can incorporate that into like another like rain or a storm, anything. That would be sick. I think the snow what system is bad? amazing. Also, look at this place. I have a feeling this is not the raid. I think it's probably like you're going to do a mission in here or maybe like an intro thing for the raid. I don't know, but it looks really sick and I can't wait. What makes darkness dark? Shadow keep. Who's yep. right? They shut off Aldrin. How are those learnings going to change? I assume we'll see Petra again. Gotten to know over the last six years. Besides Justin, like Drifter has the abilities. Got the stranger. I still don't know what that is. It looks like a thing from the Pyramid Show, obviously. Yeah, it's really the beginning of a new. But it looks pretty cool. How much I can really glean from it. For the longest time, have been bathed in the light, sort of this altruistic force fighting back evil. And now we're starting to move into that gray area between the light and dark. If the this is a cutscene from out, Season of Arrivals. I will not. Uh, we got stuff happening. The solar system. Nations and what that. The spider. Oh yeah, this this not scene right there. These disappeared destinations and what that. What the. F Fuck is happening here? <laughs> Why is Zavala surrounded by cabals and Osiris? That is what confuses me <laughs> right here. <laughs> that is so weird, dude. Uh, it's got to be what they were talking about with um, like the planet, the planets, and their reaction to the planets disappearing slash whatever they're happening to the planets. That's just not something I would ever think to see. So are we teaming up with the cabal. Or at least Osiris maybe is. Because there was that one uh, last scion that was from the group of the the three from the Osiris season uh, last year. Uh, maybe he's teaming up with that scion. I don't know. Means, Not sure. As the pyramids have arrived in our system. Not much. Can't really glean much off of it besides the weird setup. Uh, she opened up something here. It kind of looks like the blue thing people got in the collector's edition for the game. Uh, but I, you know, can't really say for sure. Stranger, and boy, does she have a lot to say, and she has a lot of time. Uh, that's funny. When I know more, you'll know more. She has shown up to encourage us to take on the darkness, and the only way yep. to truly really stop it is that to fish. And here comes Thing. our guardian, right on time. It sounds funky. Why did the darkness invite us here? Again, we talk, which is sick. The armor looks alright. Europa is literally like a time cap. 
go back a little bit. Why did the darkness see? Does that say it looks like purple and green? <laughs> He's got a printer on his back. Oh, uh, ancient city Vex crap. Europa I should say crap. Vex stuff. Like a time capsule. Wow, they. I. This place got demolished. Holy crap, dude. It's a big city, though. Europa is huge. Killer does. Just that again. Like a time capsule. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Keep calling your chat. You're not chat, you're YouTube. <laughs> Europa is huge, killer destination, freezing cold, desolate, some of the most beautiful spaces I've ever seen in the video game. I believe it. Yeah, not much to really see here. Uh, I got some cool looking sparrows. There was a lot built on Europa during the Golden Age, and a lot of that was built underground. Ooh. It's giving me, uh, like, under underneath the Leviathan vibes from, uh... Well, both from Spire Stars and uh, Eater Worlds. Had some research Just cool. I like, uh, like the limits of technology. Yeah, I got a fallen. Technology and innovation. That I, I swear to God, if they have a bit where they're acting like zombies or something, mm -mm. There. I'm Maybe out. Stepping into some things that. How creepy that shit is. Obviously, it's where the Exos were born, but like, bruh. I'm good. Under the it's gonna be some spooky vibes. I'm so excited for what players are gonna find. Yeah, I'm excited too. All right, we just missed a bunch of stuff. Under the eyes, all kinds of secrets. I'm so excited for what players are gonna find. Emma. Yeah, uh, not much here. Okay, there's six people here. This has to be the raid. Oh, yeah. It's gotta be. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at those ships, though. Those ships are cool looking. The storm on Europa was actually something we've wanted to do for a long time. Ah, yes. We wanted it hold to up. Feel hold up. Hold up. The storm hold on. on Europa was actually something One second. We Did that harpy have legs? Look at it. It's got legs. That's the thing that like floats up in the air and crashes on the ground. To do for a long time. <laughs> Look at it, dude. That or there's a minotaur harsh. behind it. The weather system is. I know, so it's funky awesome. looking. Like you're walking through an open I like the snow too. It looks nice. Things start happening. More ice across, abilities. Like, for the first time, you can barely make out the glow in their eyes. Yeah, I like that. That looks nice. The sound of the wind, the ice will change based on what the weather is looking like. You'll actually yeah, feel more and more icy stuff. Environment changing around you to match the storm. I think they're gonna do a phenomenal job with that. Little sepics, not sepics. Uh, thingy from Scourge of the Past. Europa itself is a pretty foreboding place. Aramis is there in advance of us, and she set up a forward base. She has lieutenants who have. Another thing is, it seems faces, like gotten their hands on the, the darkness is uh, giving them an alternative to survive because Fallen uh, live off ether and the servitors provide ether, and at the end there, which I'll go to, and she was smashing the servitor, so obviously they don't need servitors anymore. Which is, which is good for them, but bad for us, I guess. Aramis really challenges a lot of the ways that we think about light. In darkness, she's gonna make you think about your relationship with the traveler. She's a compelling leader, and she has a vision. And especially after the collapse of their society, people, I think, the fallen wanted someone to follow. Is the light gonna be enough? Hmm. I think we've seen that we need some new tools to fight our enemies. Yeah. With. Maybe it's time to. Yeah, it does have legs. Fire. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good to know. Ice. So creepy looking. Stasis is, uh, you know, not just a set of new supers, but it's a new damage type. We've got. So look at this UI though. Ah, oh, looks so smooth. Look at this emblem. So yeah, you can. So I assume I don't know if we'll have more darkness abilities. So you can go through from light to dark. Um. He's got an exotic ghost artifact. 
Uh, this is the Revenant one. Nothing really. Some cool looking guns, some armor. I don't really see anything else. Solar void arc, and now we've got stasis. I'm glad they've talked about this more. The idea for stasis so I was curious about aspects and fragments more. The idea of freezing someone. That was kind of the theme that everyone kind of rallied. Behind. Oh, it tracks. That's you know, neat. an amazing concept artist. Had some images that really kind of put us on the right path. Yeah. What really was landing with that was the more crystalline notion. So when we say cosmic ice, that's kind of where the cosmic comes in. I do like the word cosmic ice it sticks with the space magic theme, you know. Once he solid, I'm able to hit him again and just shatter him in pieces. The pieces yeah, it looks the like they had they had the yellow numbers there too, which was uh, not sure if that's an aspect or something or a fragment or an artifact. I don't know. But yellow numbers means good. So yeah. Stasis is going to not only change the way that you can attack or approach combat, there's also some really great ways that you can upgrade it. Then you start getting. Uh, obviously, they blurred out everything then else, like but the gameplay stuff. stuff. Aspects and fragments, which are additional ways to modify your sub. Uh, stuff we've seen already. Aspects are a little bit more potent. And okay, so aspects are. The stronger like ability modifiers type things and then the fragments. fragments are the things that are class agnostic but depending on what your class is and depending on what your aspects are and how you want to play you're probably going to okay. be starting to select different ones in there this is just the so the fragments are more like a little like more modifier things players to get their hands on this or like if you do a stasis thing it'll do this other thing and uh, not much to see when here creating a new palette like stasis like the stickers on the back of your laptop source jam Everyone on the team blocks out about a week where we can say, okay, you're going to go out into the world, microphone, recorder. This is cool, but I will, I will skip it because it's... I, I love the way they do the sound sound, by the way. But uh, that is something we can skip here for a I found moment. personally that the best way to do it was... Uh, the breast pump was amazing. In Beyond Light, we have... New Exotic weapons for you. Ah, oh, that sword looks so cool. Uh, yeah, no, I like the bullet stuff. No time to coming back. Instead of just from the uh, other dimension, whatever. When you land precision hits, you actually get a little time portal, and it's That's sick. spitting out rounds. Along I don't know how strong it'll be, but looks you pretty good. Have that on top of the arc soul, so you can be your own little mini firing squad and build for it. I assume you can just one, we have you get a kill and then it spawns that, but I'm not sure. Swords energy to give yourself a new combo that ends up oh, in a big sick. spinning slash. Probably yeah, no, it looks like it does for a lot of people, that it's crit like damage, which is pretty neat. I think the largest draw for most people is actually going to be the fact that it is a chainsaw sword. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> for Beyond Light, we really wanted to create exotic armor pieces that formed a key point around which all back. the parts of your build could revolve. For example, the Titan gets the Icefall Mantle, which is a set of exotic arms <clears> that looks like... Those look very sick. It is crafted from Golden Age tech. When you activate it, you sort of slam your arms down, create yeah. a burst of stasis energy. Oh, right, that's the overshield. overshield. Yeah, it looks like it does like a the stasis exotic is effect too around yourself. If you are facing a wave of it's like better right devils you, coming back. Or, nah, that's the Iron Banner gun, man. Start to burst and sort of cascade. Was it Iron Banner? Hold on. Can I go backwards. Can go back. Nope, can't go backwards. Sick. Um. With your melee attack, and it starts to it'll pop back up. Cascade through the whole group. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. It's fun. I'm a fan of better devils, so There's a lot there you know. for newcomers coming in too. If you've got a friend who hasn't tried it out, it's a really great time to jump in on new light that entry experience. I, I'm really looking forward to trying these missions. It's a nice Last year, looking Galhorn thing. <laughs> this year we're bringing back a much larger I love that map. No, nah, I was too late. 
free experience for free players. Last year when New Light launched, we brought back a small portion of the Cosmodrome. This year we're... Uh, yeah, it looks the same thing. A much larger portion of the destination. It seems like there's a new path in the in the middle here, though. But they said they changed it for. It some of the experiences. Obviously, it's not gonna stay the same the whole one, time. You know, after them and stitches them together this many years. Adds new things and tells a, a different story. What you're gonna meet in this new opening experience is a character with not one but two names from Fast and the Furious: Shaw Han. Oh, <laughs> now I get it. He's wearing uh, d d Ahamkara's spine. What I love about the Cosmo. I would have loved you if he was wearing Bones VA. Hey, hold on. Let's go back to see what he was selling though, real quick. Not one, but two names from Fast and the Furious. It's like, oh, he's just like the Cosmodrome vendor. Uh, see any public event? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they put little tutorials. He probably has unique hidden conditions that can be met with her, with it to activate. It's heroic mode. Ah, that's sick, dude. Very cool. On. Thank the light. I didn't think we had other guardians on patrol here. What I love about the Cosmodrome is it feels yeah, like the I, I have confidence still. what they're doing with the Cosmodrome here. Wait, hold on. What did that guy find? I didn't. There's think an we had exotic other guardians thing. On here. What I love about the Cosmodrome is it feels like destiny distilled. Oh, it was activated Thunder Crash. Cool. <laughs> Maybe. Season of the Hunt picks up where. Season of the Hunt. Other forces are taking By advantage the of the darkness to make their move forward, including Zivu Wrath, a sister mm -hmm. of Oryx, and she's taking this opportunity to build up an army. And we're working with Osiris to try to stop her. Osiris goes out, stumbles across these hive growths that are driving... So we're going back to the crazy. moon for that. Osiris I don't know if that green call. spirally Very stuff is behind the night. Up. It's still there, too. It must be that corruption they're talking about. Also, he looked invisible there for a bit. And he's working for Spider too, because his logo. I'm glad he's back. I really am. It's nice to have him. We catch up to what we saw at the end of Forsaken, where we saw Aldrin being brought back to life by a ghost. Aldrin, who now refers to himself as Crow, he doesn't know what he did. The slate's been wiped clean when he was resurrected as a guardian. We know what he's done, and we know what he could be capable of doing. So now we're going to spend some time watching him go back and forth, and that's going to question. I think he'll be fine. Him, how we look at ourselves, how we look at the light, how we look at darkness. In season of the hunt, we're partnering with the crow and Osiris to take down the high celebrant. It's creating high celebrant around the system, and those cryptoliths are Ew. attracting elixian cabal and corruption. That's nasty. So Zebu Arath is essentially corrupting herself and army, and it's our job to put a stop to it. I'm really excited to that see looks neat. Zebu Arath fleshed out more and to find out more about her relationship. Yeah, we'll really see some more of her. And, that means for your and there's still another Hive sister, to my knowledge. Placing dominoes. And and she's not the last one. At the end of year four, she's going to knock down the dominoes. We're going to see what she's doing really up to. And so this year, she's putting the last pieces in place. I'm excited for that. It really seems like they're going to... I think they're going to nail that, like that seasonal story model to really wrap it up because last year was it was like stepping stones last year it wasn't perfect it was it was okay i think this year they're i think they're gonna nail it and i know i've said that every fucking year but you know what maybe this is the year we'll see i have some faith but if they don't nail it this year oof but we'll see i can't see the future so you know We'll go from there. Destiny is just a really incredible world. And there are so many stories for us to tell. We have a lot to look forward to beyond light. Ooh, that guy's bond look neat, and light but uh, there are I don't think there's much so to see here. For us to tell. I really love the color scheme of the guns, not gonna lie. 
It looks like they're prototypes too. It doesn't look like they're finished, which uh, gives it a an interesting feel. We have a lot. Uh, I think the bond looks cool. Like I said, looks like it's in the uh, the 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 fucking Bray place. To look forward to beyond light, then the Witch Queen, then Lightfall, and all the seasonal content between. We feel like we've got a really great way to bring people together. Working through COVID, <laughs> I love those through emotes. Some of the other turmoil in the world right now has been really challenging. I have to admit, I've been pleasant. I don't think there's anything else really. We're committed to your characters and your community of players. There's probably more raid stuff, or if there's a six-man activity, but they have like the same weapons as the raid group from earlier. So also Master Chief helmet. Love it. Love it. I want to meet you where you are. Loving that. I think the thing that excites me the most about Destiny's future is how much it's rooted in where we come from. Seeing villains revealed and finding mm. out secrets that we've been hinting at. Maybe we'll have some fallen allies besides Varix and the Spider. To grow and hire the new leaders that but are. But I, I think I think that's pretty much it, really. I don't. These best days are ahead of us. I I I want to agree. Ooh, the dodge made him free, uh, freeze. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Alright, well, thanks for watching, YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the reaction and the breakdown. Um, I feel like there wasn't too much to break down besides just talking about a few things from the, the video. Um, so if you guys enjoyed, uh, if you want to sub, go for it. Uh, I'm going to be posting more... Hopefully more Destiny stuff at launch. Uh, it's more depending on if I can run Destiny on the internet because it's an always online game. Uh, I will definitely try. Um, besides that, I've started the Pokemon playthrough for Pokemon Sword. Uh, I'm going to be going through the whole main story and the two DLCs. Uh, so if you want to watch that, it's the first episode is up right now uh, with more episodes to come. And if you don't like either of those, then I have some Among Us content that I have, I think, eight episodes of Among Us just eight with more to come because i have more content to finish uh, i'm also gonna be playing some mario maker 2 eventually uh, because that runs pretty well on the internet here and doesn't require much most nintendo games don't yeah that that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and stay safe out there